Well, I, I think I've said all along to you guys, I, 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 we really like our team, we like our guys. Uh, the, from, from last spring, obviously COVID was hard on us uh, in a lot of ways for our guys to persevere and have a great finish. There couldn't, you know, we couldn't ask for a better story after a, a bad start to it. Uh, uh, and, and it really led to our guys uh, being very focused and working hard in the spring, uh, into the summer, into the fall. I, I, as a lot of people in this, uh, coaches that I talk to, you worry about culture and toughness and togetherness because of the portal and the new guys. And uh, I, I think we couldn't be more pleased with the new guys, how they fit in. Uh, they almost are the guys that have seemed like they've been here the longest and appreciate it the most. Um, and I, and I, I really think maybe it's because we do have a good place and we have a good program and we treat people right. And, and it's like, man, this is pretty good. And they appreciate it. So from, from Mark to, you know, to Ish to Marquise to Max and Logan, they, they have really, really fit in with our group. Um, I thought... Uh, our preparation for our scrimmage uh, a week ago was was superb. Our coaches did a great job. Our our players did a great job, and we went out and played. We played unbelievably hard. We were very physical. We were tough. Um, you know, we did well. I, I couldn't be more pleased with that. I think now we're at day 22 of practice today out of 30. Uh, we probably hit a little bit of the dog days, and and I, and we've had some injuries, uh, and so we're a little short short number. But there, it's just like a lot of we're ready for a game now, and and that's why Thursday's important and next Wednesday. But the thing I've told them is don't get bored with practice. Uh, you've got to keep getting better and and stay focused, and don't let's not have failure. Uh, be the reason that we got motivated. So we we'll just keep getting better. Uh, we got a good group. I think our leadership has gotten better. Uh, and, and you know, our, I know our togetherness is really good. Our chemistry is great. Uh, they are very, very competitive. Uh, the, the program, the guys, the military guys, at, at one point uh, grabbed me and they said, are they always this competitive? And, and, I, and I just kind of laughed because every, every drill, whether it's a shooting drill, whatever it might be, the smallest drill, they're, they're competing against each other. They, Rodney Magruder, was, he'd compete in stretching. And, and we don't maybe have that extreme, but we got a lot of guys that, uh, you know, that love to compete every day. The practices are hard. They're hard fought. Uh, they get into it. And, uh, you know, it's been fun so far. So we'll... See where we go. I, I think our, our biggest thing is, you know, today, you know, uh, we have, you know, we got several guys injured and or sick. Davion's got a little bit of a, a case of something right now. He won't be here. Uh, he missed yesterday. Hopefully, back by the end of the week. Uh, he does not have COVID, but it, you know, he has something else. Uh, obviously, we talked about Surrey with the knee surgery. He is back here and. And, and he, he's made a lot of progress, but you know, that's a seven month process to come back. Uh, had some tough news on Max. He had, he had a surgery in the spring at home and a uh, little bit of a reoccurrence. And we're gonna have to go do something again uh, with that. So we probably won't have him, uh, you, know, the, you know, for a while at least. Um, and then Nigel's had a, been, you know, been slowed up a little bit. We tried to be cautious with him. He is back in practice and, and hopefully uh, he'll keep making uh, progress. And then Carlton has had this uh, little bit of knee, he had a knee procedure in the spring at the end. Uh, and, and he's still kind of hobbling back from that. Uh, you know, he's made some progress, but we still don't have a full go. So a lot of days now we're down to nine kids in practice, nine, nine guys, and it, it, it makes it a little tough. Uh, but we're fortunate to have pretty good walk-ons and, and still got some young coaches that can still get up and down and, and practice a little bit, which, uh, which helps us also. Thank you, Coach. Any questions? Sir? All right, Bruce, did you know who you're going to start your first exhibition? No, I'll be honest. And, uh, 
you know, we'll see how the week goes. And I, I think this might be here. I told the staff the other day, I don't, I'm not sure they agreed with me. This might be a year where, it, you know, every game it might be a little different unit. And, and you know, depending how they play, uh, we've, we've emphasized uh, the, the freak, freak, freak came up the other day. He did, we were always looking for something, but he, he came out after one of the first or second games, you guys might have seen it, where he said there's, Every game, all I worry about is two things I can control, my attitude and my effort. And, and we've really used that as a, as a fixture uh, with our guys. And, and I think it, you know, I, I just was sitting up meeting with Selton here and every day, uh, you know, it's gonna, it could be who we're playing, how somebody's playing, uh, your energy, your attitude. And, and maybe, we, you know, if you, you want to play, you better come every day to practice and do what you're supposed to play your butts off and be prepared. So I, I would say the only one for sure, probably, just because Davion's out is Casey. Casey will start. So, uh, you know, probably ish. Uh, and and then after that, the guards, it's going to be good fortune. I've said it. We have so far, we have pretty good depth and versatility. And, and a lot of guys, they're going to play a lot. And, uh, you know, just hopefully we can get the most out of them. What does Mark Smith bring you in terms of uh, veteranness, uh, maturity, yeah. and uh, versatility? You know, I, I think the first thing, and I asked him, I joked with him a couple times this summer, I said, are you always this happy? Because he comes in here and he's happy. He's got a smile on his face. And I get text messages from his dad and like he, he so happy to be there, so appreciative, appreciative what you guys have done. And so I, I think that, he, you know, he comes now. Has every day been perfect with him? No, he, you know, he's still learning. It's a new system. We, we told him, uh, you know, he's been in two high level programs with two different coaches. So he's got all these habits or, and that not what they do is, is wrong, but it's different than what we do. So now you got to break some of that. So he's had his tough days and, and, Yet he always comes back with a smile. He's always in the gym. Uh, you know, his, the thing that surprised me the most is his athleticism and physicality. Um, and he's had a pretty good week. Now, about two weeks ago, he was he, he had a little bit of a low, but I think the nice thing is he, he appreciates it. Comes back, he wants to learn, wants to get better. Uh, you know, and, and they all, they, he, he is one of a group that works very, very hard. Um, what we've done is, I, I wouldn't say day to day, but um, his minutes are day to day. We just, uh, yesterday was probably the most he went. Um, he, I, I, he probably went three quarters of the practice yesterday. Uh, at the beginning, we were trying to uh, let him do a little section of practice, rest, come back, but that wasn't working. He was getting too stiff. And so now we're just carving out. Luke comes with me every day and says, uh, you know, what, what do you want him in? And then we'll go a stretch of, you know, it started 30 minutes, now at 45, yesterday about an hour and 15 where, where he was part of it. With the guys that you did have playing that secret scrimmage, did they su surprise you or did they play the way you expected? I, I think they played the way I envisioned, and they played much better than I thought early, like we would early. Uh, but I think they were very focused. They were ready, uh, and and I we didn't play perfect by many out me uh, by any means, uh, but we were very very competitive. We were very physical. Uh, we rebounding to play hard chart, all those things that, and the defensive end was really really good. Uh, we missed some easy ones. Uh, and a and, uh, few too many turnovers, especially, ironically, it was more of the big guys this time uh, with the turnovers. But, uh, you know, overall, it, it, was, it was, for early, I was really, really happy. And in those scrimmages, do you get a chance to ever stop and do some coaching in the middle of it, or is it kind of just oh, a game? Oh, yeah, over? yeah, we, we do more, you do timeouts, and you can arrange the scrimmage however you want, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I had talked with the coach and, you know, we kind of, and, and some of it, you got to play by ear, you know, how many guys do you have, injuries, all injuries, all that stuff. So uh, I think 
they, they definitely wanted to play more. I think our guys did too. We got to the point where the officials, they were, they were struggling because we had gone so much that they, they said one more they were due, but they, you don't want them to get hurt either. <laughs> if you had to pick one facet of this year's team that would kind of keep you up at night still or needs that improvement or that leap forward, what is it? At Turnovers point? right now. Uh, just I, learning that we don't have to make a uh, big play every time we touch the ball. Uh, I think that would be the, the thing that we've struggled with most. And then just uh, all the guys, I think the next thing would just figuring out a role. What's your role? How can you score? How can you make plays? Um, you know, and still be feel good about it. Uh, you know, that that's a, a big thing. And we've done a, talked a lot and we'll continue to talk a lot about, you know, understanding your role, taking pride in it, you know, accepting, executing and taking pride in your role. And I think that would be the, the next, you know, step as we move forward, especially you get into games and minutes. Use your minutes. Don't worry about how many minutes you have. Use your minutes that you get. Without off-season preparation last year, you guys struggled until the end of the year to really pick up the defensive principles. You touched on this with Mark. How are the new guys acclimating to that? And is it hard to break all of their other habits? Yeah, it, 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 you know, those three guys, uh, especially the veterans, you're, you know, if they've been one year, two years, three years with a coach, they, you know, those are the habits that are ingrained. That's why your older players win, because they, you know, they not a, they have great habits, but they also recognize situations and how we're going to guard things. So, uh, you know, it, it's it's taken a little time, but they they're trying and. Um, they're, ma they're making the effort and mindset. We got a lot of guys that come in and watch film. And that, that's really important to learn the game and get better. Now can you take the film to practice and then, then to the game, then go back and do it again, and each time make a little bit of improvement. But uh, the thing we have really have right now is we can put great pressure on the ball. And that, that can solve a lot of problems on defense. It's like rushing the quarterback. I think we saw it Saturday. You know, it, it takes, you know, it takes even the best quarterbacks out of games. You know, how do you get to Brady? You know, how do you get to uh, Patrick? You put pressure on him and it, and it changes the whole thing. Same thing in, in basketball, the ball screen doesn't occur. If there's so much pressure, they can't even get to the ball screen. And I think we, you know, from Marquise to Selton, to, to Mike, to Mark, we got four guys that can really pressure the ball. So I, I, I think that, we can come at people and, and cause problems. Looking back a year ago, where you were at this point in preparation, how far ahead is oh, this team? Oh, I, 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 it, more than 100 percent. You know, it's not even close. Uh, so it, uh, we have more guys sitting here than we had last year in practice at that time. So.